100,000 tonnes. That's the estimated amount of food waste in the UK every year. A truly astonishing figure. Retailers are on the front lines of the problem, and it costs them millions of pounds a week. How can they leverage smart data analytics to cut down on waste and its associated costs quickly? Well, that's what we're going to discuss today with Dr. Chris Hamer, Vice President of Research at Retail Insight. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Rachel. Food waste has always existed to some degree, so why is it important to tackle it now? Well, the UN has recognised the fact that if the population grows as anticipated, the planet effectively won't have enough resources to be able to produce the food required to, uh, to feed, the, feed the people on the planet. There's 17 sustainable development goals. 12.3 is relating to food waste specifically. And the goal of the UN is to reduce food waste per capita in half by 2030. So countries around the world have signed up to this pledge um, to do this and deliver this, including the EU, which is planning to implement legally binding targets. And in the US and the UK, have also committed to doing the same. The other aspect, of course, which is really important to retailers as well, is the fact that it costs an awful lot of money. We estimate that retailers just in the UK will have a bill of 2.4 billion pounds this year. And the other reason that it's a problem is because it's difficult to deal with. Um, and there's mul lots of multiple factors that are interplaying with one another that makes it difficult for retailers to face into some of these challenges. So in your view, why do retailers waste food at all? Waste and availability is a you know, eternal retail conundrum. There's a lot of reasons why waste is caused in, in retail, starting from where the store is located, the opening hours, the assortment that's offered in the, in the store, as well as you know, other issues like, of course, forecasting. How do you know what is needed um, to fulfil demand in, in the shop? And other things get in the way, like, like weather or roadworks, that inevitably will happen. So we see retail as a, as a system that is um, inevitably going to cause waste, you know, you can't eliminate it, but how do you minimise it? The primary thing that we want to highlight is the fact that price is the primary issue that retailers can tackle quite quickly. We need to make sure that we price at the right price point to exit products out of the store. So what can retailers do to tackle this challenge? In the research that we carried out in 125 retailers in the US and Europe, we found that Nine in 10 retailers use markdowns as a means of exiting products out of the store at the end of their life. But we were surprised to find that only one in 10 use dynamic pricing. And we know that dynamic pricing can save between 10 to 15% of the total waste bill. We also found that two thirds of retailers have the technology in stores today. They have the mobile printers, they have the handheld terminals, but they're using it as a simple calculator. We need to join the two things together in terms of recognising the benefits of dynamic pricing with the technology that's already deployed. OK, so I think this is where you swoop in. How does your solution address the challenges? So we've developed a pricing optimization solution called Waste Insight. We take millions of data points from the retailer that the retailer provides to us, and we essentially optimise the price for every pricing event. You price too high and you end up with food waste because it doesn't sell. You price it too low and you give away margin that's unnecessary. So how do you find the sweet spot? Essentially, we recognise and we analyse how customers buy. It changes from hour to hour, week to week, day to day. We also take simple supply and demand. So if there's a lot of things to sell, then we need to discount more heavily than if it's just a few things. So, you know, price elasticity obviously plays an important role. We also take account of store characteristics. So from a convenience store in a city centre through to a hypermarket and an out of town store, those need different price points for different combinations of products. And so what you end up with is, you know, over 100 million different price points, often even more, that will optimise the price for products that need to be exited out of the store. A colleague in a store carrying out a markdown will be able to get a price point within eight milliseconds, which is a blink of the eye, to be able to identify what is the best price for that product at that particular time in that store for that particular product. And of course, this isn't a one-off event. 
prices need to change constantly. And so we take a continuous feed of data from the retailer to optimize those prices over time. And ultimately we save between 10 to 15% in year one, and that continues year after year. So give us an example. Tell us where your solutions have been used by a retailer and it's helped them to reduce food waste successfully. So a recent client of ours is the Cooperative Food Group um, in the UK. They are a retailer of seven and a half billion pounds, 2,600 stores. Um, and at the heart of their business is an ethical and sustainable model. They recognised that waste was too high. They wanted to get it down. They also recognised that colleagues in stores were having to intervene too often and the prices that were being offered. Our solution essentially took a lot of data from the co-op group. We run it through our proprietary algorithms and we delivered back a model which offers over 200 million price points. So we deployed within eight weeks. And what we found as a result of that was that there was significant savings in waste as a percentage of sales, a significant reduction in waste in pounds, and colleagues started believing in the system. So there was a stronger improvement to the compliance to process. And as a result of that, we have a team of people working on the account to make sure that there's continuous improvement year after year. And we're seeing significant savings um, as a result of that. So what would you like people who've been watching today to remember the three main points you'd like them to take away? Well, the, f the first is, I suppose, a burning platform. The UN has recognised the fact that food waste is a significant problem worldwide. And there's clear targets in place for us to reduce the amount of food wasted in half by 2030. The second is that we know that food waste is caused by a multitude of factors, but there's solutions available now to be able to deal with those problems. And the third is that Retail Insight is ready and able to deploy our solutions in eight weeks from receipt of data, save significant amounts of money. Dr. Chris Hamer from Retail Insight, thank you for coming and sharing all of this today. Yeah, thank you very much.